Hi guys, I've made it to Skopje, North Macedonia. It's just been chucking it down with rain. Just got some street food. Ordered just a hamburger and this is what I get. Look at that. It is absolutely huge. So I got to uh, Skopje on Sunday night. I was working all of yesterday and today has been my first day really looking around. And first thing you notice when you're kind of walking along the river in the center of the city is this big abandoned ship. Also, I'm with Dan What's as up, well. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're uh, staying at the same hostel. He's got a YouTube channel too. I'm gonna to leave the description, uh, a link in his description below. And, um, and yeah, an go. Important fact. An important fact. Yeah, four people in our room and three of them are named Daniel. <laughs> God, yeah. <laughs> it's very easy for everyone to remember who's who. Ooh. Yeah. People have definitely been here before. I don't know I don't know when the ship was built, but you can see all of these uh, old windows which look like they used to be cannon uh, cannon holes. Uh, or, I don't know, they could just be windows. I don't know if this was built for tourism originally or if it was purpose built to be a, a casino, hotel, restaurant, which is what it was before now. Seems pretty sturdy. Fingers crossed. I still haven't turned on my health insurance yet, my travel insurance, so I, hopefully I won't fall through the floors. Ooh, even though that definitely looks sketchy. Mm. Yeah, definitely a barbecue gone wrong. There's a steel beam, maybe if I uh, can get over to it, walk along, and then go up. But it's definitely not safe. It's crazy that this is just like in the middle of the city. People are clearly here drinking and partying because there's bottles everywhere. Um, there's even a little mattress over there. But, yeah. It's crazy that it's just left there abandoned. All right, let's give it a go. Stick to the center point. Yeah. Rather maybe go here? I want to walk along the steel beam just so uh, I know that's safer. You think that's safer? Yeah, that's metal. This bit. Ooh. Right, I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to the center points of the wood. <laughs> yeah, I don't that know. Is. That is sketchy. Now that I'm here, I'm gonna to have to poke my head up. The floor's actually made of metal up here. Right, I'm not gonna go up any further just because it's very open to the public. And uh, I saw the top floor is again made of kind of broken wood rather than metal. So uh, now I'm gonna try and get back across here. So I'm back on the very bottom level and looking out the windows, I can see the river. Awesome, such a contradiction and just such a contrast of these beautiful white marble buildings and this boat. <laughs> so just next to the uh, abandoned ship, which we've just come from, there's another one pretty much identical, which is a hotel, a restaurant, and maybe a casino as well. But yeah, you can see up here, it's got banners flying, and it does look pretty much identical to the last one, uh, <laughs> but in good, con uh, in good condition. It's a lot more fitting to these uh, lovely uh, marble surrounding buildings. 
one thing that I've uh, learned already since being in North Macedonia, because I had, knew absolutely nothing about it before coming here. It's got like a really rich history with, uh, it was part of the Roman Empire, it was part of the Ottoman Empire, Slavs came as well. Um, so it's had uh, a lot of different uh, rulers over the years. So there's quite a cool mix of different styles, different foods, different flavors, all kind of making North Macedonia what it is today. So all of these new marble looking buildings are actually new. There's no kind of history behind them. They're all kind of 15 years old uh, as part of a renovation project. You've got the old part of the city over there, which still has the ancient walls, this stone bridge with the uh, kind of city center square just over here. But everything on that side of the river is brand new. It's really strange to see some of these <laughs> fancy looking buildings like the Marriott Hotel and Casino and this lovely beautiful fountain which is really ornate in the main square of Skopje and then you've got these completely unfinished buildings right here and I know the city is going through a renovation period but it is strange to see see the city centre just incomplete. Yeah I'm not that happy about it. This side of the river already feels different. Looking at the signs, you've got uh, markers to the uh, old bazaar, the museums, things like that, which you didn't really have on the uh, south side of the river, which felt more residential. But looking around, it is just a different feel already. So we're just walking over to Fort Kale now, which was uh, built in the sixth century. Got it just over here, right next to this busy main road. All right, we found somewhere else to explore. There's uh, a gate missing to this little hole in the fortress. Don't know what's in there. There's no cars coming. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> oh God, can't see anything. Bunch of empty bottles. I think that's just a dead end. Don't know what that is. Looks mostly like rubble. Yeah. Right, this is real exploring. <laughs> I'm always scared that out of nowhere this, this one. Yeah, this is. Race. Zombie territory. <laughs> oh god. Well, we're definitely seeing the uh, fortress from a uh, different point of view. The temperature's already dropped quite a bit. <laughs> we got to work out how to get back as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is crazy. How, how big is it? It goes deeper. <laughs> oh wow. Probably we need to remember the way back. Yeah. Oh, okay. I found a room. It looks like some electronic thing on the wall. <laughs> Crazy. All right. Pipe my head around here. Oh, there's more tunnel. Oh, I think there's a gate. All right. We came from the right over there. <laughs> stay here. Stay. Don't flip. <laughs> oh no, it's more of a wall than it was a gate. Uh, God, there's so many tunnels. Yeah, let's go back. Yeah, all right. We're abandoning. <laughs> we're going to get lost down here. It's yeah. like the catacombs. <laughs> They're here. Yeah, I think we're going to let you Yeah, yeah, this is the one. <laughs> yeah. All right, we found it. This is the exit. We were so lucky to get in to the uh, fortress as like where we did because all the other doors look like this big gates padlocks and steel So it was lucky we spotted it 
Right, this looks like the official entrance. Scopia tourist map. Security guards. Yeah. Don't know if you have to pay to get in, but I'm assuming so, to be honest. If you're from Skopje or you've been to Skopje, please let me know any places that I should definitely check out. I've been to the uh, city centre now. I've been over to the fortress. I just walked along the river. But I want to know the hidden gems, what the locals do. So please leave it in the comments below. And I'm going to definitely go check them out because I have to come to these places and try and live how the locals live. So where do you think the uh, entrance to the tunnels comes out? <laughs> I don't know, I don't, there must be like a whole system inside. Maybe, yeah. uh, maybe it's way bigger than, than we see. Well, this wall stretching along here, that is where the tunnels came in, because that's the road. So, they must have come from underneath. So there must be uh, exits to the tunnel. Yeah. Right guys, I think I'm going to leave the video here. Uh, it's been a nice uh, kind of first intro to North Macedonia and Skopje and I'm looking forward to seeing more of the country and learning more about it. Um, please remember to uh, do your thing, like, comment, share and subscribe. Stay up to date with all my travels. I'm on the road now for eight or nine more months. So yeah, there's going to be plenty more videos and I'm going to be all across the Balkans, Turkey and... Who knows, I might actually fly somewhere from Istanbul, go somewhere completely different. Anyway, cheers.